2021-07-22, I would have public hearing consider approval of the request of Sarah Hernandez only for a specific use permit to allow a beauty shop, one chair accessory use in a single family uh, SF3 zone district is property located in Lot 25, Lot 19 in Longdale Edition. 924 Delta Avenue. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. The site is, uh, is currently zoned single family duty and is occupied by residential use. Land use in the general area consists of single family residential development. Notices were sent out, uh, 23 notices were sent, zero returned, one protest, and zero approvals. The applicant is Sarai Hernandez, owner, and the purpose of the request is to consider approval of a specific use permit to allow beauty shop one chair accessory use in a single family three zone district. A site plan has been prepared indicating the location of the existing single family residence, which consists of 1,998 square feet on the property. Uh, the lot is 8,160 square feet. The proposed shop will have a floor area of approximately 192 square feet and will be located next to the existing residence. No additional structures are proposed for this development. The proposed beauty shop will require two paved parking spaces along with the two existing paved parking spaces for the residents. The building setbacks and lot coverage uh, are approximately 37% of the existing and proposed structures and they do meet uh, ordinance requirements. If the commission chooses to approve this request, the planning staff recommends adoption of the following conditions. Salon parking will be provided as, as is shown on the site plan along with the residential parking. Lot coverage meets ordinance requirements. With the, even with the proposed beauty, shop, beauty salon, no sign will be allowed on the property. Access to the salon will be limited to the rear entrance of the residence. One operator, uh, being an immediate family member, shall be allowed to work in the shop. Hours of operation are limited from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. All applicable building codes need to be met. Uh, review of the permit upon receiving neighborhood complaints. This is a temporary permit and the city council shall have the right of uh, termination for violation of the terms and conditions of the permit or because of the negative effect of the use on the neighborhood after a public hearing and adoption of the attached site plan. I'm here for any questions. Okay, are there any questions from staff? We have a copy of this complaint. Um, my glasses are better. I can see that. If you were younger, you would see it. Yeah. yeah. This is a public hearing. So if there's anyone in the audience today that is here to speak in favor of it or in opposition to this matter, uh, please come forward now. And if you would give us your name for the record. If you come forward to the podium. My name is Sarayi Hernandez. I am the owner. Um, the address is 9024 Delta Avenue. And um, I'm just basically in favor of doing it. Um, I've had my license for almost nine years already. Um, we were in the process of making this at my parents' home, and it's just been a real struggle um, now that we moved. Um, again, like I said, this has been my dream for a very long time. And considering his dog, I mean, his dog goes nuts for everything. Like, my child can go out and throw away the trash, and he'll go crazy. Um, but, but I also have dogs, dogs too, and, and I believe that there is a way that, you know, know you can calm your dogs and control them and be able to tell them, like, if you teach them right, they won't go crazy for a stranger. Okay, you've uh, got the paved, paved parking, so that's not an issue. And you understand that if this is approved, still has to go to the council and have to approve it. Because it's a specific use permit, uh, your neighbors may complain after, even we, after we have approval. Okay. Uh, so you have to you know, make sure that everybody's happy and the city council can consider uh, 
preliminary at the later dates. Okay. Okay. Yes. Any other questions? Also, um, sorry, sorry. It's, I'm, I'm not, not going to be doing business per se right now. now. Um, I am waiting for my baby to go to preschool to start. Um, what I wanted originally to do right now, like what I'm doing, are YouTube videos. And I'm trying to get my children away from the monomer smell of like doing nails and stuff like that. And so I want to say for about three years, that's what I'm going to do before I even start taking clients in. Again, I would know this is a public hearing. Is there anyone else in the audience today who wishes to speak in favor of or in opposition to case file number 2021-07 SUP? Seeing no one come forward at this time, I close the public board issue. Turn to motion and see if there's any discussion or a motion. I move for approval for case number file 2021-07 SUP. Motion. In favor of it, is there a second? Second. All in favor of it, are you saying aye? Aye. Any opposed? Same sign. Okay, moving on. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, this case file number 2021-20Z, open public hearing to consider approval of a request by Matthew Scott Owner, Barry Engineers LLC agent, to rezone an office to retail Lot 2, Lot 2, Plaza Road Development, third file to the city of Odessa, Midland County, Texas, property located at 3221 Plaza Road. Yes, ma'am. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. 13 notices were sent out, uh, no notices were returned, and one written protest was received. The property involved in this request is 3221 Baudry Road and is located southwest of the intersection of East Ridge Road and Baudry. The site is currently zoned, office, and is vacant. Land use in the area consists of single family residential development, development to the east and west, with commercial to the north and south. The applicant is Matthew Scott, owner. Very Engineers LLC is agent, and the purpose of the reason request is to allow for the proposed Dollar Tree retail store. Using the city's identified priorities contained in the City of Odessa's comprehensive plan, plan to evaluate zoning amendments, the following comments are offered. The proposed rezone request is not contrary to established land use in the general area or the land use plan for the City of Odessa's master plan. In terms of livability, the proposed rezoning would not have a negative impact on the surround on this site or surrounding properties. The proposed retail development is not out of line with the existing retail development in the area. In reasonableness, the proposed rezoning will be in line with existing zoning along the west side of Audrey Road, with retail directly to the north and south, and it will facilitate a reasonable transition of land uses of uh, varying intensities and would not create a conflict with the existing land use in the area. Based upon the preceding analysis, staff recommends approval of the request. And I am uh, ready if you have any questions. Okay, I've noted that there's retail on both sides. Yes, to the north and south. To the south is a, a liquor store, a hopscotch, and, and then directly to the north is a laundromat. And I guess we probably approved this as office at some point in the past. I do not know the history of the location. Right, everything else there is retail. Yes, sir. Any other questions from staff? Okay, again, we know that this is a public hearing. So if anyone wishes to speak in favor of an opposition to case file, now would be time to come forward. If you'd give us your name and uh, present your case. I'm Heather Pritchard. I'm Kip Richard. And, and uh, we're here representing our client. Yes, yes, we are. Uh, G2K is purchasing this, this land. land. And, and they, they wish, wish to put the, the dollar, dollar tree. Okay. Any questions about it? Nope. It, it 
It is in line. Right. right. So they're the, they're the actual ones putting the Dollar Tree in? Yes. Yeah. So it should be actual. So no one. Do we have any complaints or anything from anybody on this regarding this? Uh, the properties that are What distinction would there be between say an office and, and retail on the back side of that property? Can you imagine that? As far as you know, too much of me. Same about the activity that you would expect if you've got a vacant lot behind you. It won't be vacant forever. Okay. Any other questions? Thank you. Okay. Right. Thank you. Know, this is a public hearing. Anybody else here to speak in favor of opposition to case file number 2021-20Z? Seeing none, I'll close the public portion. Turn the commission, see if there's discussion or motion. Move for approval case file 2021-20. Approval. Is there a second? I have a motion to second. All in favor? Are there any saying aye? Aye. Uh, uh, same sign. Uh, final case file is number 2019-13P, Property Division of the Territorial Jurisdiction. This is the uh, consider approval of the final plat of Lynx Estates, being property of 15 acres of land, section 33, block 42, township 2 south, Texas Pacific Railway Company Survey. Property located in Northeast of the intersection of West Tisdale Road and South Lisa Avenue. Yes, ma'am. Uh, <coughs> the site is within the city of Odessa extraterritorial jurisdiction, does, does not have a zoning designation and is currently vacant. Land, land in the area is occupied by residential and industrial development. The applicant is Lynx Homes, LLC, owner, N3 Brito agent, and the, and the purpose of the plat is to create 30 lots for ownership purposes and, and to facilitate residential, residential development on the property. The, the Planning and Zoning Commission approved the preliminary plat on April the 18th of 2019 as presented, and the, and the final plat is ready for commission approval. Any, Any questions? questions? Any questions? Okay. If this was not public hearing, so need discussion or motion. I move for approval of case file number 2019-13-C and that we take it. Is there a second? Motion second to approve. All the members saying aye. Aye. Uh -huh. Any opposed? Same sign. Any further business? Next, one case next time.